And welcome to the Flipping and Wholesaling Houses in New York show where I teach you how to start flipping or wholesaling houses or if you're already doing it, how to grow your business. I am leaving Texas after a week, coming back to New York on my way to the airport and I got a question, well, more of a statement from someone who was talking about how difficult it is in New York and how we invested other places and it was so much easier and how he believes that you shouldn't invest in New York unless you have five years experience. So let me tell you why I disagree with that and everybody's entitled to their opinion. Um, five years of experience is not going to prepare you for New York. New York is, as I've said many times, a completely different planet when it comes to real estate than the other 49 states. And the fact that you have experience doing work, um, investing in other states does not prepare you for New York in any way, shape or form. Uh, it's not like, well, now I've done deals in Texas, so now I'm, I've graduated to New York. That is not how it works. So, and I've, and I've, I've, uh, I have listed the many reasons why New York is more challenging, right? Just to reiterate some of them, uh, the fact that attorneys really control the deal, that a seller is going to be represented by an attorney, that you do not bring a contract to a seller meeting, that the seller's attorney is going to generate that contract, um, what else? Uh, that EMDs, the earnest money deposits given a contract, are significantly higher than other states. That there are no inspection contingencies in the contracts in New York. The inspections get done before contract, which is probably more logical, but makes wholesaling uh, uh, not a risk-free uh, endeavor in New York because you, there is no contingency. You can't just get out of the contract and say, I'm out. Um, and there are other reasons too. I don't want to get them all, but there are many reasons that I've re and I've mentioned all of them. This guy has a, a a rodeo bull in the back of his. See that? Something you don't see in New York or pretty much every day. Um, but there's a lot of reasons why New York is better, right? Better, right? So the obvious, the two most obvious ones are number one, incredibly. Uh, small amount of competition right? and I've said this many times I work in Long Island Long Island has about 3 million people in it and on with that 3 million people I think there are less than 6 or 7 people who go direct to seller on a regular basis I could probably name everyone on one or almost almost one hand so therefore um, that's a big deal right? I'd say more than half the time I'm the only person making an offer so that's a big pro. And when you make more money, that's another one. There are other reasons why New York is great too. You can't get out of a seller can't get out of a contract. You don't need to record something when you go into contract because there's no way out. There are a lot of reasons why New York is better. But again, New York's another planet. So it's not like, hey, I'm gonna fly to Venus and uh, Venus and Uranus, and then I know how to get to uh, to Jupiter. It's not how it works. Uh, everything is different. Everything there is different. Um, New York is different. And if you are, if you live in New York or know certain areas in New York, and you want to operate in New York, you absolutely can do it as a beginner. I did. I just didn't know the way things worked in other states. Now I've done business in other states, so I now know how it works, and I know the challenges and advantages that New York brings. But I don't think uh, experience helps you in any way. I really don't. I just think it's different, and you got to understand the differences, accept the differences, not try and not try and avoid those differences, although some people do, and something I struggle with whether I should try to avoid some of these things, but um, knowing what they are is a big part of the challenge, right? Which is really the purpose of this channel, right? I've been posting for years now, and it's there to just explain it, and I get you know comments all the time, like, wow, I didn't get it until you explained it to me, and that's really gives me a lot of pleasure. Um, uh, helping explain it so that people can I tell you, when I started, I did not know how things worked. I had no clue, and there was nobody there to explain it to me. And as crazy as it sounds, and I've said this before, and I'll probably say it many more times. Sorry, as crazy as it sounds, there is no one else in New York who really explains it. I mean, there's an attorney, and there's a couple of attorneys, but attorneys don't know shit. Even though one of the attorneys is the guy who does, who represents, he still doesn't know how to actually go find the deal. I mean, the guy's never, you know, there's nobody teaching how this is done in New York, right? When I prepared a course during the pandemic in 2020 about this, I said, let me go on the internet and look for other people that teach us. And, and shockingly, there is nobody else who teaches it. Nobody. Nobody. I'm the only one. So congratulations for finding the only guy 
who operates significantly in New York and actually teaches how it works. And I get asked all the time, why do you want to teach your competition? What are you, crazy? Why would you ever want to teach your competitors? And I don't look at it that way. I don't look at life and business as a zero-sum game. There is plenty. Of, there are plenty of deals. There is plenty of money out there. I don't feel like if other people uh, do deals, that means that I do fewer deals. You know, I do the, the once in a while to somebody I trained or somebody go out and take a deal that I should have got, that I thought I should have got. Okay, there are plenty of other deals. I don't feel bad. I live in. I try to live in an abundance mindset. I try to believe. I believe that fully. I think that there is no reason why everybody can be successful. I don't think if somebody, if one person is successful, another person isn't. I think it's a really, really good ingredient to stay happy in life, um, not to be scarcity, not to have a scarcity mindset. Do I turn here? Uh, no, I yet. Okay. Um, and I'm, I, I feel very strongly that I'm happy to help people. I like helping people. I think I thought about this recently. I coach. I do coach people. And if, if given the choice, and this is not crazy to you, but if given the choice of me doing a deal and making a lot of money, or me showing somebody else how to do a deal, and let's say making half because I split it, um, I think I'd rather have the second one. I get tremendous satisfaction out of helping people do their first deal. I get tremendous satisfaction out of seeing somebody get it and understand it, and then seeing somebody maybe do something I wouldn't do and that works. Um, so I get a lot of enjoyment out of that, and that's really the purpose of this channel. And I think absolutely without a doubt that beginners can invest in New York and be successful. I have students who have done it. I have a student doing his sixth deal now. I have a student doing his fourth deal now. Uh, a lot of those deals were done without me. Some of those deals are done with me, but either way, I don't care. Um, I'm happy to see other people succeed. Uh, I've had plenty of students who did one or two deals. Some people just didn't want to stick with it. That's therefore they certainly made their money back from uh, everything they spent. They paid me. So uh, I'm not trying to sell coaching here, but I think it's important to understand that beginners absolutely can be successful in New York. Um, the, the crazy things that make New York different are not things you're going to figure out from experience one place. So I respectfully disagree with that comment. Um, I think uh, it works. I'm happy to help you. I'm happy you found me. Uh, I'm, and, and, and I hope this, this, this was helpful. And um, if you're interested in all the ways I can help you, go to howtoflipnewyork.com or learn to flip and wholesale.com. What else? If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're watching on any media channel, please click the thumbs up. The likes really, really help by um, the SEO and the algorithm, and a lot more people see my videos because a lot more people are liking them. So thank you, everybody who likes my videos. Thank you for everyone who's been watching. And please keep the comments and the questions coming. I post five times a week. Um, it is not easy to figure out what to talk about. Your questions give me your questions give me a food for thought and topics to discuss. The whole purpose of this channel is to help you. So. Please keep the questions coming. The question does not have to be about the video you're watching. It can be about anything. And if it's a simple answer, I'll just reply with an answer. If it is something that um, I've covered recently, I'll send you a link to a video. And if it's something that I have never covered or I haven't covered in a long time, I'll be happy to do a brand new video on it. So thank you very, very much for watching. I really appreciate everyone who's been clicking like and everyone who's been watching. Thank you very much.